Hey, it's Alicia here, and I'm going to be talking about do your beliefs create your reality? And I did film a separate video about this, but there were some points that I missed. So this is do your beliefs create your reality part two. And I'll put a link to the first video here as well. And the part that I didn't mention in the previous video is that, well, first of all, your reality is created by your state of consciousness, the frequency you're giving off, the harmonic you're in, whatever you want to call it. And your thoughts themselves have a consciousness. So your beliefs, your thoughts, they have a consciousness. And your thoughts are sending a message to yourselves. They hold cellular memory and they're eavesdropping on everything you're saying and responding accordingly. And those cells have a consciousness. So now you're giving off a frequency and that's what you're going to see mirrored back to you. So that was the part that I missed in the previous video. In the previous video, I mentioned this spectrum that we're all on, whether we think we're primarily physical or primarily vibrational and how that impacts our reality. Because if you're holding on to this idea that you're a victim, you're, so you're in victim consciousness. So you believe that life is happening to you. You don't have any control. Life is meant to be hard. Those are your beliefs when you're in victim consciousness. So therefore your state of consciousness creates your reality and you're holding on to those beliefs when you have that certain victim consciousness. Life is hard, life is happening to me. So yes, your beliefs create your reality because you're, those are the beliefs that you would have in that state of consciousness. And the frequency you're giving off is exactly what you see mirrored back to you. So yeah, it's, it is easier to just say that your beliefs create your reality than to say your state of consciousness creates your reality and your beliefs are affected by that and all of that kind of thing. So you probably hear a lot of people say that your beliefs create your reality and in a way, yes, that is true. And I will put a link here to the previous video where I explained that part in more detail, but I just wanted to mention here that your thoughts themselves have a consciousness and they're sending a message to your cells and your cells have a con consciousness as well. And that's why your reality is affected by it. And it can change super quickly. If you send a different message to your cells, your reality can change super quickly. Like I've heard of um, people who have multiple personality disorders and you can research this where they think one minute they are, you know, a certain person like John who has cancer and the next minute they think they're Brad and they don't have cancer. And when they think they're Brad, they don't show cancerous cells. And so it can literally change within minutes, seconds, instants, because if you send a different message to your cells, your whole reality can shift. So it is pretty powerful. It's not something to worry about, like that you have a bunch of negative thoughts and you know, as soon as you have a negative thought, that's gonna be created. There is like a buffer and it is like the message that you send to yourselves the most often. And it's okay that you have negative thoughts. It's not about making your negative thoughts go away because that's can be really hard to do. It's about acknowledging that they're there, noticing them without judgment, and then they dissolve on their own because now you're in this higher harmonic when you don't judge yourself for it, a higher harmonic of self-love, and it's impossible to self-sabotage when you're in this higher frequency of self-love. So the negative thoughts will slowly start to dissolve all on their own. So you don't really have to like be super like, oh, I gotta change my thoughts, I had a negative thought. Like, just don't beat yourself up for it is the most important thing there. Just notice that you did it and be like, oh, there I go again, and they will naturally dissolve on their own. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to be notified the next time I upload a video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.